Hello, Thelma. Hello, Mirna. How are you? Fine, how are you? Very good. Was yesterday <laughs> nerve-wracking for you? Oh. Was How's it your hard? teaching experience? Uh, what about that uh, correction? Yeah. Yeah, it, need, it needs to be done a little more. It'll take time. Oh, but it was so stressful. Yeah. <laughs> morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We are fine. Morning. I'm fine. Morning. You were laughing fine. about the stressful. <laughs> what was this stressful? The correction. Uh, Mirna found it yes. quite stressful. <laughs> what? Sorry? <laughs> The corrections on the um, activity yesterday for Thelma, I was like, oh my gosh, she must be freaking out having everybody watching you while you don't know the system well enough. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> uh, you handled it like a pro, well done. <laughs> but apart from that, <laughs> oh, good. apart Love from that, everything okay? Yep, all well. Very good. How was your and first? You. Sorry? And you, how are you? Yeah, 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 fine. No stressful. <laughs> <laughs> so, Raquel is laughing. <laughs> I don't know why she sees me stressed from time to time. Are you lying? No, Raquel. no, no, I never lie. So, what else before Gergo joins? Anything else to mention? Nothing? No? Mark, how are you? Hi, yeah, uh, they're doing some, uh, the neighbors are like knocking down something. So it's like, oh. I don't know if you can hear the banging. Can you hear banging here? No. No, must be the noise cancelling on my uh, on my computer. Very, very loud yeah. banging. You can't Gergo hear it at all. Here from here. Here. No. Gergo is now here. Hi everyone. Good morning. What's 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 wrong with your computer, Mark? Or or. No, no, the computer's fine. I, I'm surprised it's blocking out the noise of uh, the neighbours, like demolishing the flat below me. Oh, lucky us. There's a lot of banging. <laughs> Very loud. That, that's, you can't hear well, it at all. No, that's no, but... But 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 it but it's also 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 a good uh, good thing to know for your classes, because actually it may, actually it means that that yeah. the noise wouldn't wouldn't go into the into the classes either. No. Uh, okay. I, I I have a I good one for you, Mark. I don't know, maybe you know it or not. When does when does a joke become right, a dead joke? joke? When does a joke become a dead joke? When does a joke become a dead joke? Yeah. Okay, tell me. When it becomes apparent. I think I have seen uh, that. I think I have seen that before. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Slipped okay. My mind. <laughs> yeah, when I read it first, it it, it did mine too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why is it good to be a spider? Why isn't it good to be a spider? Yeah. What's something to do with webs or something like that? Um, why would it be good to be a spider? Why wouldn't it be good to be a spider? You no. Know, why would it be no, good Maria. to be a spider? It's 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 the actual joke. <laughs> so it. Why is it good to be a spider? Why would it be good to be a spider? It's not good to be a spider, I think. So that's the that's the joke. I'm, I'm happy that most of you are laughing. It's a really shitty one, actually. But yeah, so um, good. OK, so we are getting uh, we are growing in numbers, which is really nice. Uh, welcome, everyone, and good morning. Um, so today, today we are going to we are going to talk about. Uh, firstly, we are going to talk about um, feedback to students. Uh, 
And um, to, to start with, I'd like to to ask those who who taught in-person classes, how do you do the feedback? What, what when, when, and and how do you tell the students how did they do in class? What did you do in class? At which point of the class do you you talk about this? Neza, you raised your hand. Or maybe. Uh, yeah, I did, but did not. <laughs> Okay, so usually um, after, um, every three months we write a report to give the students feedback. But what I do is that in almost every every single week I give them a feedback on what did you and did you not do and did you didn't do. And especially in speaking, because we practice a lot of speaking. So I try whenever we practice speaking at the end, I tell them what they did wrong and what they should do and etc. So I try to keep it positive and not negative. Okay, cool. That's uh, really nice. And and do you send it by email or, or, well, or, or the a WhatsApp report, message? Yeah. Um, the report, yes, by email. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you... Uh, for his, uh -huh. Go ahead, please, sorry. And for instance, when we practice in, in class, it's just at the end of the session on whenever we finish the, the speaking, I give them the feedback right there. Right there mm -hmm. and then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Do, you, do you remind them about the content you covered in the classes? Of course, that's necessary. Mm -hmm. And Always, do, you do, that, even... do you do that at the end of the class or do you send them a memo about this? Uh, no, I do that at the end of the class, and then um, then sometimes I I start the class with it, um, kind of what we have done last session, okay. And then at the end of the class, we kind of share our input, our insights on certain thing. What did you learn? What did you find difficult? And etc. But then again, once we finish the unit, there is an exam. Well, not an exam. Mm -hmm. It's just like. Uh, so they can yeah, 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 like like an evaluation of the past uh, three yeah. months. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, thanks, thanks, Nessa. The, You're welcome. It's a really good practice, I I, I must say. Mm, anyone else? <clears throat> in-person classes. When you when we we think about in-person classes, evaluation, reminder of the content. How did you do it when you when you did these classes? OK, so let's put that aside. How do we do it at Toxinity? How and when do we give feedback uh, feedback about about the the progress of the students? The email at the end of the class. With the mail at the end of the class, yeah, exactly. You you really you really went to the to the bottom line directly, but yeah, 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 good, good, good. And so so this is this is an this is an important part. Mark, why why do you think it's important to send that email? Why do you send the email, and what do you put in that in that in that short or long message? What you say? I think if you see people have had problems or something like that, or something's not so clear. Um, you know, just to review those things. It's like the um, sometimes the new, especially the new students. Sometimes you get you know the quick questions. Um, sometimes people get a bit confused, and there's uh, like okay, send a link to Fiona's article on this her blog post, uh, sort of explaining that. And often I send people, you know, if it's grammar things, or you know, often send them a video. Um, you know, there's usually videos on YouTube about certain structures or certain, you know, news topics or whatever. So send them something to, that they can take oh, away. Nice, nice. And do you do you in, do you include uh, personal messages as, as well, directly addressed to students separately, or you, you send should I just send? I mean, maybe I should do that. I mean, it's just time, really. You know, I mean, it's uh, usually I just send like a group message to everybody, but you can. You know, send people an individual message to a particular person. You know, maybe there were uh, two people did it really well. One person was struggling, and then you could send that message to that one person. So you can do that. Yeah. To be so to be frank, I also do a general appraisal, so I don't don't write them 
send personal messages, but but to review the entire yeah. content of the class and what was covered. Mm. And what you mentioned here, uh, two or three things very important uh, is is the um, is of offering them um, uh, additional options to practice. Whether whether it's mm. whether it's whether it's a video from YouTube, whether it's a blog from 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 our blog. Mm. Right, a post from one of mm -hmm. one of the one of the teachers, which also, which also helps us uh, increase the traffic on our on our blog, mm -hmm. and 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 what Josie mentioned just 15 minutes ago, it's also a really important thing is to remind them. I don't do that. I also mm -hmm. also forgot about this <laughs> to be honest, but but to remind them that they can review the content in the application. So actually, everything, everything what we covered in the class and every every attachment, every everything what they saw, is accessible mm. in our application. So this is this is something that's that's really good to mention. And also, then you can even add a little extra that there is this kind of game which is like Duolingo or Duolingo-ish, or I don't know how to say it better, but it's kind of like the same system, right? So, so again, <clears throat> that will help increase traffic on the website, which is good, which is good for us. The more, the more time they spend uh, on our platform, the better for the company and for you as well. Uh, yeah, okay. Anyone else? Feedback to students during class. What about, what about, let, let's, 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 uh, <clears throat> Let's be a little less uh, vague. Mm, what about wrap up? Wrapping up the content. Who's 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 wrapping up the content after each activity? Is there any teacher who does who really does uh, who uses the wrap up questions? Lewis, please. Hi. I, I I usually finish by uh, asking them what they learned, right? Um, I want so what 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 did you learn today, right? As a final wrap up, right? And um, um, whether they have any questions about something. Does it work? This um, this this question. Do you do you have questions about anything? What do what answer do you elicit with this? Do you do you really get an an answer for this, or on the average, or students say that no, I don't have questions. Yeah. I mean, being yeah, a little more specific, perhaps it's 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 uh, it's more effective, and. And for this reason, we have these these wrap up questions at the end of activities. That's why I asked if you use them uh, at the end of the activity or at the end of the class. For 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 instance, I I tend to do these kind of questions at the end of the class, in the last three two minutes two three minutes more or less, depending on how much time we have, instead of instead of really wrapping up after each activity. And it works well with the students I I, I usually have classes with. Uh, Catherine, please. Thanks. That's Louise. a good idea. So instead of using the wrap up questions at the end of the thing, you use them as a a closing. I hadn't thought of for, doing that. For the class, yes, for the class, yeah. It, yeah, that would it, that actually makes a lot of sense, and it makes it less rushed. So. Yes, and also, and also, it it kind of refers back to something. What what I found is that it refers back to something that you mentioned, like or you talked about, five, uh, five, ten minutes ago. So it it I believe that it helps the consolidation, right? Not not when you are when you are presenting a, presenting a grammar. And then you practice that grammar, and then you make them produce with that grammar, and after that you give them a a little break, so to say, and then after that you you get back uh, at the same thing uh, a little later, and I find uh, that uh, effective. Um, okay, anyone else? Uh, 
wrap up, feedback, assessing, sending messages. Well, natu naturally, we are talking about this because because still there are many teachers, no names, uh, uh, no names at this moment. So I mean, I can, we, are not, we are not mentioning names, but there are still many teachers who tend to forget to send that that email. And this is also a kind of. Uh, uh, I'm also asking those teachers who did not have or do not have the opportunity to attend the Friday talk, but they look at the video later. Please send that message, even if even even if uh, just a short one, a few of the words that they didn't understand. Use the chat box. You can review what what you talked about. What did you need to reinforce? And then that information can go into the into the into the general appraisal what you are sending. And and Mark's uh, Mark's idea, YouTube videos, blog posts, or Josie's idea, mm -hmm. reminding them J Josie's idea, reminding them. Uh, uh that they can they can they can review the entire content in our application it might help them progress <clears throat> progress quicker because uh as mentioned in the in the invitation to this to this friday talk uh we if you if you look at our 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 our, our web page oxinity.com right the one of the first things which is mentioned is that we accelerate learning. It's a learning accelerator, Oxinity, right? This is this is how it's this is how it's uh, uh, defined, or this is how the company defines itself or the platform. And so it's important that we actually provide our uh, our uh, clients with this. Uh, with this accelerated learning, so we give them the tools to to uh, to yeah. to have this accelerated learning. Sonia, you wanted to say something? No. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. No Hello, everyone. Sorry. Good sorry. Morning. No. No. I was just good morning. I was just listening to you. Nothing. I was just <laughs> watching another thing. No worries. Nothing. All right. All right. Okay. Um, so, so accelerated learning. Okay. Uh, this is this is one thing we jumped we jumped at we jumped to the to the end right. Uh, giving feedback and and assessing the the students' uh, progress. Now, what else do we offer to accelerate the learning? So what what are the key aspects of this accelerated learning process? What what do we do to to help students ad, uh, advance quicker? Well, it's the pacing of the lessons, isn't it? Also, OK, all right. Pacing of the lessons, having a high pace in 30 minutes classes. Yeah, OK, very good. What else? How can how can we make sure that those 30 minutes, uh, those 30 minutes are used um, in the most effective way. CCQs, concept concept checking questions. That's 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 one that's that's one part, but that's at the end of 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 a content or once the content is 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 presented. But before getting there, yes. Um, I think because we have such a good. Uh, pattern and a very good solid structure that you don't waste time you know i'm sure some students with other methods they have a lot of time wasters don't they or they waste time in learning so because it's a structured it's short it's half an hour and also i was thinking the other day because the students have a choice of having different teachers sometimes um, they could get the experience of different teaching methods, different personalities and different accents. You know, I think that's a bonus. Whereas somewhere else you might just be stuck with one teacher for a year. So it's just something I thought of, which I don't know if, if that would help or whatever everyone else thinks. It's just something that I thought about, you know, variety. Yeah, I, 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 I myself believe that 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 helps them. A, a great deal, especially when it comes to listening comprehension. Uh, 
that that there are there are teachers from all walks of life and from many many different uh, countries continents even right we can right you 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 are you are in 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 Thailand or Vietnam or no I'm I'm in England this at the moment uh, the, yeah. oh dear I'm in England, yeah. but I do yeah, go to you, Thailand Vietnam yeah 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 uh, okay okay all right um, so uh, Sonia please thanks yes. I was I was going to say preparing the class properly, so uh, that also helps the student if we in advance prepare the class and we are sure what how we are going to to deliver the topics. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a really important part, and uh, that that even though we receive a class plan with the activities over there uh, for 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 the teacher. We need to review, and we we should have a um, a strategy how to how to use those how to use those activities in the class, which comes after the other one. Of course, it might break, right? Because because students react differently, or um, a student uh, cancels the class, and another kind of student comes to the classroom. So it, there are many many factors that 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 influence this, but. But once once you have once you have something uh, ready uh, already thought of, you also become. I myself, for instance, I'm I'm much more calm when when get when going to the, when going to the classroom and and you or the the students feel that, right? It's the same as 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 you felt it when you were going to school or when you're studying something you really feel whether the teacher is prepared or not is the teacher ready to be there in front of you or not and that's really important to to have a good uh, uh, class experience or learning experience yeah okay anything else here how else how how would so we so we talked about uh preparation um the variety of teachers uh, mentioned um, what else um, um yeah what else what 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 else adds up to to having an or, or providing an accelerated learning to the students different teaching methods as like like just mentioned as well and here there is a there is a very important point i think with our, in our system is that we focus on what they need to learn or what they don't mm -hmm. know yet. Catherine, please. Um, I, I'm focusing on skills, like uh, Yas said, that they, they're speaking, or somebody said that they're speaking all the time. Yes. So they're actually actively involved in it, and it's developing those skills. Right. OK. Um, Jonathan? Jonathan? Yeah. Can I can I try to explain it with um uh, with an Im image? So Im imagine a book, right? So you have to go and teach that book. So it goes from page one to maybe two hundred, something like that. Okay. So imagine a book, two hundred pages, and then you have to go and teach all this content to student. So you start for with the page one, and then you start giving that knowledge to the student, and you might um uh realize that that student knows something okay which is maybe in the second page and now you realize that that person knows something that you have to explain in the 35 page okay so what do you do you would go to the 35 page and say hey this person knows this stuff so maybe we can skip that when you're doing this physically with a book, the problem with traditional way of teaching is that you cover from page one to 200, no matter what, okay? So, and then you go for uh, first page, second, so on until you finish the book, okay? So when we go and digitalize these kind of books, we exactly know what pages the student already knows. So imagine that that book, physical book, would skip all these pages. So every time you open a book, you know exactly what you have to teach to the student because all these pages would disappear 
as we go through and we know that those pages are already known. OK, so that way we are much faster to go and teach a book that maybe with only 50, 60, I don't know how many pages. It depends on the student we will need. OK, so traditional way of teaching, you cover 200 pages. What we do is we deliver only the pages that students need. That's that's the image that I want you to think about. Thanks, thanks. Did 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 you did you get the this uh, this uh, like uh, metaphor or 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 uh, right? Like it's it's really well. Uh, I think it's really well said this way. The dis disappearing pages, right? This this kind of analogy that that you don't need to. We don't need to work on things that they know already, and at Additionally, this book, if if I could use this 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 same uh, this uh, same uh, picture, like in this book, we focus only or, or the book contains only things that they cannot do alone, and this is also a very important part of oxinity or the of the oxinity. Uh, uh, teaching approach or call it philosophy, obviously. There are there are there are exercises um, sometimes gap fill find the synonyms match the sentences and so on and so on. They are over there because you need to have content to work with the students. But the real the real deal and what we are really focusing on is that they they reach the produce phase as quick as possible and so they produce with the language what we are teaching, what they should learn whether it's whether it's uh, it's grammar syntax vocab or anything else because because that part the 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 fourth attachment of all activities whether it's topic structure or vocabulary that's the part where they are actually using the language independently that's when that's when they are that's when they are they are given the chance to 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 use what they have just learned and that's that's the that's the part uh, where where they should, uh, mm, that that that's the part uh, which should take the most time of the class because that's when that's when they are really using the language, not 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 um, not just uh, how, um, not not just doing an doing an exercise for which they can find the key uh, at the end of the page. I don't know if it, if I made myself understood with this, right? So so actually the gap fills and all these kind of exercises they can find themselves on the net. And what Mark mentioned, for instance, is in the general appraisal you can provide them with such websites. You know, if you if you practiced if you practiced, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, but pa passive past models, right? Then then you can then you can share share pages with them where they can drill those sentences if they have problems with 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 uh, with building the sentences because they don't understand the structure like okay what do i use have what do, do i use have or had do i use the <clears throat> the present or past participle and so on and so on so obviously these are very important to the, the students need to need to understand these and need to need to know these things to to successfully use the language but that's not the real that's that's not um, they they can they can do it without the help of 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 a, of a teacher what they cannot do without the help of a teacher is to understand in which situations are they adequate to be used and that's where that's where the attention of the teacher is important that's that's when we need to be there for them to answer the question to answer their questions or to correct them similarly with the with the with the with the past models right and the, and especially with the passive students i found even even students who normally we would say that they are on c1 level they struggle to have the distinction between should have must have right 
and because because must in the present it it works differently as in the past it means different as in the past and they it's it's it it takes time for them to understand which one to use when we are giving recommendations which one to use when we are talking about obligations and which one we use to talk about uh, certainty about the past right so that's why that's what we are we are there for not to not to really drill the the structure with them like must have been um, must have done and so on and so on because that can be done without the help of the teachers again i need to stress that of course we have these exercises we need to have these exercises because we need to look like a book and therefore then therefore we need to we need to show them that hey it's there okay but if we don't need to use it we are not going to use it if you want to review it or if you want to do the rest of the sentences because there are 10 sentences we only done we we, we only did two you can access the application after the class next morning in the evening and so on and then you can go and drill the drill the sentences so this is an important uh, important part uh, of our teaching approach mari carmen please yeah, just going back to the acceleration, uh, which we do, I think it's very important to point out as well the the assessment of the teacher at the end of the class with the green face or the red face. So I would point out as well that um, when 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 the teacher knows that whatever material they're doing, it's flowing really well. Let's not waste time there because our target is to detect to help the system detect what they need to learn ne next. So th th this is one, one tip, right? If everything is flowing, that's great because that means that they've been doing previous work and now the consolidation, the consolidation happens. Therefore, we can go quicker and that will be definitely the, the, the green face. Uh, the, the red face, even if they've learned it, they still need to consolidate. So I would also say that if one hesitates in, in doing green or red, go for the red because that will make, you know, the, the student consolidate. So to accelerate it, which is again, one of the greatest difference that we have, it's very important this, asse this assessment because our target is always detecting what they need. Next. Yeah, <clears throat> mega thanks, really, Mari Carmen, because this was this was very important. What she she just uh, put in really good words. Jonathan, you want to add something? Yes, absolutely. Because for me, this is so important. What Mari Carmen just said, okay? Because we have to make this another analogy with the traditional way of teaching and what we do here in Xenity. So uh, once I often found that when when people are trying to teach something and there's this topic for today okay and then you go and present it to the students and they know that okay so we we can have like time uh interacting with the students because because that's what it's i mean it's kind of like fun okay because then we can talk or whatever because they know their stuff while if they don't know we kind of struggle and it's the the, the class wouldn't go as 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 we wanted to 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 go right so in this case, we try to transform this into, OK, so what I'm doing is I'm checking if students know that stuff. So if they know that stuff, that's it. So we move on. So that's the way we accelerate, right? So that's what Mari Carmen was saying. So so I wanted to stress this out because uh, because it's completely different. It's not that I'm presenting this because I have it to do it today. So, hey, we're fine. So, you know, so we can just practice and stuff. No, no, no. You check. They know. You skip it. I mean, you go to something else. OK, that's the way you're going to be teaching and you're going to be placing the students out of the comfort zone. And that's when learning is happening. Def that Definitely. So it's these what what Mari Carmen and Jonathan just mentioned is very important to 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 keep to keep in mind and and to remind ourselves from time to time. And perhaps this is the reason for which we are talking about it today, because this this is this is um, this is our business proposal. This is this is what we propose when we tell students 
come, come and, and, and learn with us. And this is very important to understand how to be able to, pro, to, to provide them with, 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 with what we, what we, what we say to deliver on that business proposal. Josie, you met, you raise your hand. It's off. Yeah. It's down now. Uh, so I'm a little bit ill today, so I don't, I don't have my best form. But um, just off the back of what Jonathan and Mary Carmen said, and also thinking about the natural approach to learning is, OK, they'll do these activities which um, focus on this specific area of the language, but they will still practice them in other types of activities. So not focusing on that, but like the whole idea, I think, is to expose them to it and focus on it. And then they will remember over time by repeating it, but in different scenarios and in the scenarios that they need to use it. So I think, yeah, that's why this focus of having smaller activities is better so they can be exposed to it more often. And that's how they consolidate it. Red face. Yeah. Red, the red, red face. face. And I mean, red, I red give face. red faces because they don't know either. This is what I've been saying to our new teachers. Don't worry about the red face. They're not going to see that. That's just to tell the system. And it's better for them the more the system's actually accurate. So, yeah. Super important what you said, Josie, that that makes the system accurate, right? That's, that, that, will, that will help us to, to receive the activities in the next class or the, or the other teacher in the next class, what the, what the students actually need. And yeah, they can't see it. I remember when we were still doing in-person classes and some students at the end of the class, sometimes they peeked at the screen and they saw that red face, why did I get the red face? And you had to actually make them make them understand that it's it's not it's not because you did something wrong, it's because you still don't under, fully understand what we were talking about. And then and and uh, and it's it's for your it's for your sake. Yeah, uh, Rob. Hi, good morning. You you would like to share something? Sorry, I'm late there. Just concerning the red face there. I uh, just don't know how the system works. Um, I gather that they would probably repeat the lesson if they get a red face. Is that right? Not the lesson itself. But the topic. They will, they so they will might repeat get a different... the context or the content, the, but not so the activity be... itself. Oh, okay. So they might be taught it a different way. That's why I was asking, because it might get a bit boring if they're just doing the same lesson over and over. No, 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 no. Uh, truth to be told that, for example, if there are three students in that class and there two of the students didn't do an activity and then the third student later books that class, that it might be that one of the students, one of the three has already done that activity. OK, it might happen because this is an oh, open okay. web class system, so the algorithm yep. can't always <clears throat> change all the activities once the class was set up and okay. this this might this might happen uh, for the reason uh, I uh, I like to have a, a, like like a, a, a lifeboat activity like an activity that is there should something similar happen uh, you can you can you can you can work on you can work on something different. Right. It is it is the it is uh, an opportunity what all of you have and the more complementary works you do, the more uh, the more activities there will be in the database. And I think last week we checked it right. You have to click the plus button and then you need to need to click find one. And that's how you add uh, the activity to the to the to the class. OK, good, good, very good. Actually, uh, we 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 are way ahead uh, of things. Uh, than the, uh, compared to how I pictured this uh, this conversation and at this point. I would like to share uh, uh, a screen uh, containing the the new or well, many of you already know the checklist, what we have for the different types of activities because uh, we started with this uh, with this uh, the initiative of of uh, finding the way to correct the activities and finding the finding the best way to to improve the activities it started more or less a year ago 
Uh, no, more than one and a half years ago. Better, better have said. So the so the 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 first the first hurdle for us it was it was the it was when it was when we realized that actually we need first we need to set up a system how to improve our activities and then we can go into finding out which is the best way to present the content. Uh, now we are at the phase, I think, where we we have we have tackled the first part. We do have a we do have a system to work with. Uh, we also we also tackled, let's say, the second part: how to present the the content. And now we are at the phase when we re we can really focus on what the content should actually be. Um, now, just just a brief explanation. Why? Why do? Why do we see? Why do we start with the second attachment? Who would like to give it a go? Why do you think? Why do we start with the second attachment? As you can see, attachment one introduction is in each case is the third is the is the fourth. What do we? The what do we need when? Uh, Josie, students please go aren't, ahead. Yeah, the students aren't going to know what they're meant to be learning without presenting it first. End of story. Yeah, yeah. So the present phase, number number two, present or text in the case of the topics, that's the content you are working with. And without 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 allowing the students or without without having something to show to the students what you are working with the whole thing is 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 is, uh, is collapsing well collapsing it's it means nothing you can you cannot start you cannot start with a practice without presenting the without presenting the 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 content produce same and to start with the introduction we came we came to the conclusion that there are with with many activities where you need to do the activity from the beginning because they are too old because they are not matching the actual content therefore the 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 green face red face uh, system will be not accurate many times we need to start the activities from scratch and when you do such a thing first you need to have something to present to the students right if it's grammar then you need to have a few model sentences about the, the grammar if it's vocabulary then you need to have a text or you need to have pictures or you need to have a, a sentences which which contain the vocabulary the target language what you want what you, what you what you are teaching them um and in the case of the topic most of our topic exercises are based on text i think i think very few are not. Uh, I don't think if we have any actually. Perhaps not all of them are articles. Sometimes they they are they are priority lists or or whatever. But it's always a text. So you need to have that text to talk about something. If you don't have that, then you don't have anything to talk about. And and just a picture and the question, which normally the 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 introduction is, is not enough to 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 have this. Or most of the time it's not enough right so this is why we start with the present and this is why we would like you to start every time with the present phase <clears throat> okay um what goes into the what goes into these uh, attachments we are going to look at them briefly Still have we still have time? And last week we started with a with a with a structure activity or reviewing a structure activity. Um, so so today perhaps we are going to look at a vocabulary one uh, because uh, because there were many questions regarding vocabulary activities, how to build them, what should they contain, and so on and so on. What kind of exercises to use in the vocabulary activities? So this is what we are going to look at uh, in a moment. <clears throat> Please remember that every time when you do complementary works every time, please leave notes. If you can't see this list in the notes, if you see the, an old list, if you see uh, people's notes, whatever, you can delete that, paste this one in and start with the first one. Very important, really very important. If you see that the present phase is okay, then you can say done, name, and you go to the next one. 
obviously keep in time the time uh, or keep <laughs> keep in mind the time sorry um what you use uh it's up to you, right? Cancelled classes, 30 minutes, a class, uh, a class normally takes 30 minutes. So your uh, your corrections should also take up 30 minutes, give or take those few minutes, which uh, which you might have uh, lost or used up already while waiting for the student and then the class got cancelled because that happens as well. Um, OK, before we go and look at the vocabulary exercise, are there any questions, anyone, about what we see on the screen? After this uh, meeting in the afternoon, this will be uh, this will be uploaded to the general channel, and you will be able to download it from the general channel. Everyone, it's one PDF. It contains all three of them, and then you can just take, depending on what kind of activity you correct, you can take it and paste it into the notes section of the activity what you are working on. Mm, OK. I gather that there are no questions, so then let's look at <clears throat> let's look at the vocabulary exercise uh, and then I hope you will have questions. Oops. Yes, sure. So what 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 we are looking at is uh, P5 vocabulary exercise. As you can see, the, the, the context is highlighted, love and relationship idioms, right? So this is what it should contain. <clears throat> um, mm, yeah, let's go. So again, what's in the what's in the intro, right? It's about love. So you ask them what are we going to talk about with a simple with a simple picture. I think it's it's it 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 clearly represents what's what is going to what is going to happen here uh, or what is not going to happen here, of course. Um, and then you 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 give them intro questions. Uh, please make sure that there are three questions, okay? This is what we used to do from the very beginning. It works well. Normally you have three students or you can have three students, one question for each student. It's important, right? Also, also you are helping your teacher, uh, your fellow teacher or teachers with it because <clears throat> everyone might have a, a, a worse day or some of us are not so improvisative. Have the, the, give, give, the, give the tools to each teacher what they need to, to perform a class quickly. If the questions are there, the teacher do not need to think about the, the, the teachers do not need to think, think up a question. So easy it is. Okay, what I meant with, with using context or, uh, or um, with Georgina's words, modeling the, the structure, the vocab or the language in general, right? You don't need to you don't need to have you don't need to have a continuous text. Everything here is about uh, relationships and love, right? So what you can do is you can have sentences. In each sentence, you have the you have the the the, the, the vocabulary, eight uh, eight idioms, so eight sentences, right? And then. Uh, very simple, ask students to explain the meaning of the idioms. If they can't, no problem, because the teacher will help them. So please make sure that you provide the teachers with the key. Because for, for, some, for some of us, um, it's not necessarily obvious which or, or what, what these what these mean. Maybe you can, maybe you can guess because these are really easy, right? But but again. Uh, please help the fellow teachers to 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 have this ready made for them so they can they can they can well prepare for the class and even if they can't remember during the class they can just access this page and easily check what what they mean um good how to practice um uh, sorry i need to go back uh, because as you can see here it says number 2 engage and uh, number three study so this was an old system what we had for the for the 
for the vocabulary exercises, it's practically the same. Engage, study, activate, or present practice produce. For the for the for the clarity, now we aim to have all vocabulary and structure exercises with the present practice produced, just to make it simpler for everyone. And that's it. The meaning is the same. Um, <clears throat> okay, so a, a very a very simple very, sorry very simple exercise. They need to find the correct match, right? And use each one in a sentence. This second part is very important in our in our classes because because we aim to aim to help the students understand uh, and and get a grasp of the function of the grammar and the vocabulary. We would like them to put it in practice directly. So it's not enough. It's not for the brain doesn't work that way or most mo most people's brains are not working that way. It's not enough if they just certainly not enough if they say 1D, 4B. That's 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 for sure not. But even have a crush and then they just read to be uh, or I don't know where is that. Uh, it's, it's 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 not here, but so it's like uh, to really uh, liking someone. It's not enough. Put it in. Ask them. Make them put it in a sentence. Really, because because then then the connection in the brain will be made, and that's really important for the for the learning curve of the students. This is this is this is how the brain functions. Connections, 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 connections with things that we already know. So the best thing is to ask them that, do you know someone who has a crush on another person? Is there someone at the office who has a crush on someone? So they 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 make they make connections with people who they who they know already, things that they are familiar with, and then the information will be will be will be connected to the right uh, synapses. Uh, and how to go further and how to make them produce and this this is a kind of uh, this is a part which is tricky and sometimes uh, some we, we struggle we struggle with it uh, but what's the what's the meaning here what's the difference between this one and the previous one here they see all the phrases they see all the definitions. They just need to make matches with them and then and then make a sentence with it, right? They can they they can they can fire around a little bit, right? While they while they find the while they find the correct answer. But everything is visually in front of them to find the correct answer. Right? It's like having the blueprint and 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 needing and uh, having the blueprint and the only thing what you need to do is follow the steps more or less, right? Here here is different. Here here it's just we we tell oh sorry so here it's like you tell them that okay look your friend is in a relationship for a long time and would like to marry his partner but afraid to ask which of these which of these idioms can you can you use oh come on man don't be such a weasel pop the question tomorrow right something like that so it's it's when they need to find out okay these are real these are situations that might happen or 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 have already happened with many of us and then again we need to we need to insert the new knowledge into these known scenarios and this is the produce phase this is when they need to think okay how can I use what I learned? In which part of the world or the life can I use what I learned? And that's when the that's when the consolidation happens in that part. So this is this is this is kind of like the the idea of 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 this present practice produce uh, or engage study activate or I think and I believe really do believe that this is really the 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 teaching approach of oxinity and that's what I that's why I said some time ago that in fact the the students should should spend the most time with this this is what they should spend the most time on 
finding finding the finding the best the best uh, the best matching uh, um, idioms or proverbs for these scenarios because then they really need to think and then they really need to think in english actually that's that's the ultimate goal uh, or maybe not correct me if i'm wrong now uh super any questions anything to add any any uh, observations about about this this thing here Ooh. <laughs> was it was it was it was it too dense or jonathan please yep um i liked it very 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 much so so you're telling me that the way to introduce this activity would be like going fast through all these first attachments until you'll get to the last one, which would be the student tab. Can can you go for the student tab? And it's just one picture, actually. Yeah. Long yes. talk. Then we spend time seeing this while you're making questions and putting them into situations so they need to go and express what they've learned. Yeah, yeah. I love that's, it. That, I love that's it. the thing. And love, right? It's like yeah. love talk. It's about love. And then and and you know, ob obviously the, the the thing here is that yes, oftentimes you will spend more here because they don't understand. Yeah, but that's that's our goal is to reach here as soon as possible and then let them think. Make them that's, make that's them use wonderful. make them use the pro proverbs, make them use the ideas. And that's that's really they this is the this is the part where they consolidate the knowledge and that's why so, that's why go ahead sorry excuse me yeah yeah no 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 because i like it very much because it's going back to what you said it was okay so we accelerate the learning process by doing what students cannot do alone now if you go back to exactly if you go back to all these vocabulary or sentences that they might use right this ones or even the the tab before OK, this is a way to. Yes, so I'm learning here. Maybe some of them I will know some of them I won't. OK, but I could do it by myself. Right. So but if you present this and then I can go and use it, it's when I'm going to be learning. So we try to go fast in this process until we go and stay time with them and practicing what what I've what you've um, taught and, and they've learned. Love it. 100 percent. That is the goal. That is Excellent. the goal. And this, this, this is, this is a, I don't know if you, I don't really a question to everyone, all teachers who are here. Have you noticed this, this idea, what we have seen here in our activities? Because if not, we have a problem <laughs> because, because our activities should represent this, 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 this approach. And we, <clears throat> We aim to have this approach in each and every activity. Of course, again, with the topic exercises, you need to read the text first to have something to talk about. But that's why we came up with the with the with the conclusion that 150 words plus minus 20, right? Don't make it more than 170, 175 because it's too long. It's it's the, the the less is more oftentimes. So if it's a short text, what you can cover in, in a in a in a reasonable time, say you cover the text in five minutes, then you have five minutes to talk about the text. If you need to spend seven minutes to cover the text, then you are going to spend three minutes on talking about the text. So this is the this is the this is the balance we need to keep in mind. And the and and the uh, and the 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 objective is to have the students speak, use the language independently. That's that's because because that's what that's what in the end that's what they need in real life as well. Right? It's <clears throat> it's okay to have your phone and then you have the 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 the, the, the translator. But it's embarrassing. I mean, I think even in 2024, I think it's it's just not nice when you have this thingy and it tells you the 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 or it, or it translates your your words to the to the target's uh, language. 
So, 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 yeah. This is this is the goal. This is this is our aim. This is our objective, and this is why it's very important that each and every one of us who improve the activities, who do complementary works, follow the same pattern. Because because then we can achieve this together, and this this is this is a uh, this is really important for the retention of the students, but also for the recruitment of new students and new clients. It's. It, it also it also uh, it also is a really uplifting feeling when you are when you when you trust the system with which you work that's 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 really good really good stuff uh Jonathan your your hands are still up I no? I know but I can lower it so just yeah okay Don't Mari Carmen attention. please then Gergo, I wanted to tell you that and maybe it's a good way to, to do a wrap up for this uh, Friday talk. Um, understanding the teaching system and everything that you've explained and the great example you've given, knowing that the market is saturated of long, boring lessons with old fashioned methods. I think it just when I saw the last picture with the with the woman and the man there, I thought this is a, a springboard and the sea to actually go out there and, and, and make the difference. And I was thinking, if any students out there that are right now looking for English classes had the opportunity to have a listen to you today, explaining our teaching system, I think we, it would really work. So it does make a huge difference. And it definitely it's a springboard for promotion when understanding understanding what uh, what we are taking care of and the way you explained it. So. Thank you. Thank, thanks, Marie Carmen, and 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 this this is this is why we are talking about about it because because we we all are we all, we all, we all are partners at Oxenity, so we all are uh, going going for 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 clients, and when and not not until not until we really understand how we teach, can we actually explain that to the students. So if you don't understand what you are doing or you don't entirely understand the approach you might not be able to to actually tell this and even more uh um uh, not even more but moreover um you won't be able to to say to convey this uh in a simple way because that's also very important that you can simply explain to your prospective students why are we different and how do we do things differently? That's that's uh, that's the that's the real deal. And it's thank you, Marie Carmen, uh, for the for the kind words. I have to say that every everything, the conclusion, and what we have seen in this exercise is is the work of many teachers, Josie, Georgina. And many others, and myself. So, so this this is also a collaboration, and uh, and it's it's it took a long uh, uh, way to arrive at these uh, the at this point at this point. Uh, Jonathan, closing words, please. Yes, uh, only to highlight what uh, Marikarmen just said, and and these are your words actually, and I love them. Which is like in Accenture, we focus on what students cannot do alone. It's perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. if we understand yeah. this, we accelerate and 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 we give a value here that many other people won't. Okay, so it's it's perf perfect. So thank you very much. Gotta go. Yeah, thanks. That's really important. Really keep it in mind. Just this, just this sentence. Yeah, yeah. This is really oxenity, and this is the this is the fundamental uh, core idea of this approach. So, well, it, we already, yeah. So, everyone, thanks very much for being here again. And and uh, once again, I think it was a really nice talk. Thanks for everyone pitching in with your ideas and opinions, and uh, thanks for listening as well, of course. And uh, we we'll continue next week with the same with the same uh, thing. So have a good one, everybody, and Bye. see you next Friday. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice weekend. <laughs>